So what I've got for you today is a number of demos, live demos of interaction. So I'm doomed to fail, aren't I? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through some of the issues of kind of mobile computing and basically make you scared to go in airports, McDonald's, Starbucks, things like that. Um, so I imagine most of you, if not all of you, have got smartphones. Have we got some iPhones in the room? Yeah. Yep. Some Androids? A few and Blackberries? Anyone got an old Nokia or something like that? No. Say, so you're the smartest one. That's it. I can't get you. She's impregnable. Potentially, if you'd have come in this building and you'd have seen these um, banners around, you might have just jumped on the Wi-Fi. So that would be the first part of my evil plan. Um, but the second part is a little device I have hidden away here. It's a little black box and it was created by a guy called Darren Kitchen over a company called Hack5. And what it basically does is it does two things. One, it can pretend to be any access point I want it to be. So when you go to Starbucks, you expect to see Starbucks Wi-Fi. And you see it, if you're anything like me, you want to get on Facebook, you want to check your emails, you'll jump on it. You're in an airport, you see free Wi-Fi, you take it. Sometimes you don't even care what the name is, you just jump on it. <laughs> so this is part of the plan. But the technical part of the plan here is this little box, I've just got it put on the screen. I know the screen's not too clear, but do we have Stella in the room? I think I've got your phone, Stella. I apologise. Don't worry, nothing bad will happen. Does anyone know who HP Matto iPhone is? Somebody else in the room. If you check your phone, that'll be connected to my little black box. It'll think it's connected to your home Wi-Fi, probably. So what's happening here, and also we have an Android phone here. Um, this, this kind of attack, I'll call it, it's more like, I say, a fishing net than a spear phishing attack. I'm not going for one person. It, you put it, or a hacker would put it in a place such as Starbucks, a university, an airport, leave it there for hours. Once they leave it there for hours, slowly but surely, what your phones will do, when you, when you get home and you open your phone up, your phone finds your home Wi-Fi, doesn't it? It looks for it and it connects nice and easy. When you walk into the university, my phone connects there. What this little box does is when your phone says, is Neil's home Wi-Fi there? He turns around and says, yes, that's me. My phone trusts him, connects to him, and therefore we just have a connection. So everything's going through this little box. So what I've done is I've kind of pre pre-snared my little pad here and just for fullness uh, could I ask for a volunteer you sir you're at the front would you like to volunteer I'd like you to do just want to come down to the front so we can hopefully let everybody see is in this in the box up there and you just type in www.facebook.com please yeah and there's a dot com as well yeah and press go that's great. So you've now ended up on the Facebook website. Fair enough. Let's hold that back. And now I'm going to use, kind of try and be a magician now. And I'm going to take my prepared pieces of paper. <laughs> and I'd ask you to choose two of them, please. Two, two of them, please, yeah. Just one. And any of you want. Cheers. I'll turn away now. If you want to show the, show the audience, I suppose, just what the pieces of paper say, yeah. Are we good? Yep, so I had them away. And now I just ask you if you'd like to write one of them as the username and one of them as the password into, into there. So I'll just put, one, put one, of, one as the email and one as the password and then just press log in for me, please. Oh no, you got the other big one. Just use the first four letters. Just use the first four letters. That'll be easiest. When you're done, just press enter or log in. Yep, just press enter or log in, doesn't matter which one. Yep, just that key there, go, or even go. Brilliant. So this is where the demo either works or fails. So that now, that box is connected to my little box here. And like a few of your phones decided to, he's now put in his super secret username and password. So now, hopefully, I've now just gone into my little box and I've asked to see what the box has recorded. And you see we've got Cantor, so close enough to Cantor and computing there. So by snaring some devices, 
then taking the data that goes from those devices to the little black box, the little black box is able to record anything you do.